afternoon and welcome to Aroma Chat. So today is uh, January the 6th, a very auspicious day. Very happy to be here and, um, and share with you in our Aroma Chat um, an oil that I usually wait until um, Easter to share. And the reason I wait until Easter is because at Easter time we celebrate um, you know, the Christ and the, the crucifixion and the rebirth and all that. And also, um, spikenard was one of the uh, beautiful oils that um, in the day, uh, 2,000 years ago, uh, it was more valuable than, than gold. Um, it took uh, literally one year um, of an annual regular salary to be able to save up and be able to uh, utilize that. And Mary Magdalene used uh, spikenard on the um, feet of uh, Jesus the Christ when um, he was getting ready for his great sojourn through uh, something that I feel is very similar to what we're going through today with all the political stuff. And, you know, and, and uh, as the story goes in his time, it was very political as well. And he was dealing directly with the powers that be that were controlling and manipulating the people in terms of what they want to do and what have you. Um, going back to, you know, turning over the tables as the story goes and in the temples and, and what have you. Um, and he was a great teacher at, at that time. And uh, that was big, big threat to the powers that be. And I think we're still under a lot of that. So I thought it was just an appropriate time to bring forth spikenard. Spikenard is, is known, the botanical name for it is uh, Nardosis jatamasi, or jatamasi for, or nard. Some people refer to it as nard. Um, spikenard has a particular gift, and that gift is calming and soothing, um, particularly at the psychological level. So it, it actually has a, um, an effect of not only being able to stabilize the nervous system, but also regenerate the mind after extreme exhaustion. And it's a great choice for inner stillness. And inner stillness is, is something that I think is really, really important for all of us as we go through what, whatever the challenges are that we're facing in today's world. And granted, we're faced with challenges all of the time. Challenges, particularly right now, seem to be extremely, really powerful. And the, it's, there's a beautiful um, saying. I want to I want to share this with you. This is um, by uh, this is a book by one of my colleagues called Aromatherapy for Healing the Spirit. It's by Gabriel Moje. Gabriel is um, a fabulous um, both aromatherapist and also trained in Ayurveda and trained in traditional Chinese medicine. And he puts together this, this book that I love. This book has been with me for a long time. I've trained with, with Gabriel. And what he says about spikenard, it's, it's about stability, it's about faith, and it's about surrender. And those words are so meaningful for me right now. I'm not sure how it is for you, but I'm, I'm look for that stability, that core inside of me that can be um, be steady in the space of winds whipping back and forth and kinds of ideas and all kinds of judgments and opinions and what have you. And, and spikenard helps to soothe at the deepest level um, forms of anxiety. And, and it, from the Chinese, as he shares here, um, with the bittersweet pungency of spikenard and and I'll tell you, when I first smelled it, I was like, oh my God, this is like, I don't know if I can handle it. Um, it how is this so valuable? And it's valuable not only because it calms the nervous system, but it also helps to, um, to help hormonally. And our, hormonals are, our, hormonal, our hormones are actually really important for stabilizing the chemicalization of our bodies. So... What I look to as a therapist, I look to stabilize the nervous system, which is our electric system, and our chemical system, which is our endocrine system, which is the magnetic system of our being. So when we bring balance for both, 
Spikenard really speaks speak specifically. And Gabriel did a did a, um, a a lecture on this one one year about how Spikenard, um, as opposed to what we've talked about last month with frankincense, Spikenard has this um, ability to reach all aspects of life. It's so polymorphic in, in its effect, where um, frankincense is more mon monomorphic. Um, and, and from the Chinese standpoint, Gabriel shares that it helps to release obstruction of qi and blood so to help free the ethereal soul. And for me, at this very time that we're going through um, the challenges, I know I've been going through some real personal um, loss of friends, um, accidents with friends that are, are meaning, meaningful to me, and um, looking at where, where am I responsible for it. When we look at life in this way and we, we start to ferret out what has happened, where's our level of responsibility and in doing so then we actually empower ourselves better and spike in ours does that so talking about those three words we mentioned earlier stability and faith and that looking at the word faith we all have some level of faith in whatever domain we've decided is important to us and one of the things I've learned in these interesting times of where there's a lot of polarity is that people are in totally different faiths. And when we present evidence that we, that we hold inside of that faith and it doesn't agree with the evidence that another person believes inside of their faith, that there's a clash. And it doesn't have to be that way. Because when we look at the unified field, which is what the plants are, they receive the energy from the sun. And in this way, then they individualize, just like we do. We individualize that energy and we have a faith base. When we begin to release the mind and its perceptions, and we allow those perceptions to change, that's called surrender which is the third word um, that Gabriel Hood talks about that really depicts what spikenard is. So um, I've named spikenard, and this actually comes from um, Dr. Hosell, who talks about spikenard as the bestower of life. Because when we actually allow the energies of this beautiful plant, it begins to equalize and stabilize and be come together in a very polymorphic way. Poly meaning many, morphic meaning that state of which we can exist, we can be. So I wanted to share that. Uh, uh, the interesting thing about spikenard is it comes from a particular botanical family called uh, Valerianaceae, which is the same family that valerian root comes from. And we know valerian root is very much used to help us sleep. Why is sleep so important? We know sleep is so important because it helps to heal. It helps to stabilize. So I know, for an example, um, last night I um, went through a, a very big challenge that um, affected me emotionally. And I went to go to bed and I, I couldn't really sleep and I got up to meditate and I I just started crying and I cried over um, what was a loss to me of a friend that I thought was a friend and um, and it was it just it was such a loss and in the space of that I, I, I inhaled this beautiful fragrance of spikenard and and I and I actually took that into my sleep and I, I actually went to sleep like right away not saying that that's what spike and I will do for you. It could. It just depends on the individual. This is the beauty about plants and understanding plants. But I, I slept and when I woke up this morning, I, I was settled and I was happy. And I was in the space of, wow, life is, life is good. It really is good. And um, I get to experience the beauty of that goodness. That goodness within myself as, with a, as also within the plants. So I share this with you today um, 
because January is a very washing machine, like I mentioned last week, it's a washing machine kind of um, energy that's happening this whole month. And um, to be able to utilize the plant essences in this way really gives us a very fullness, a full feeling rather than an empty and a struggling feeling, which I think we all want, right? <laughs> so, so that being said, um, this is all the kinds of things we're going to be exploring in the aromatherapy course. It's going to be a basic course, but we're going to have this opportunity to chat amongst each other, um, to be able to um, kind of explore individually in, de in depth and then come together and share. It's very, very valuable. So um, I, stay tuned. If you're interested, you can um, sign up um, or, and just like this uh, video that you're hearing right now um, and, and then let me know that you're interested in taking the course and I will get you on our mailing list and that will be happening near the end, near the end of this month. So that being said, um, I just want to wish you all a really great, great day and um, I want to uh, give this energy of stability, of faith, and of surrender and knowing that the plants the plant kingdom is here for us and that connection with nature is so very very important to nourish us to heal our emotional wounds because when our emotional wounds are calmed down healing can happen and when healing happens our mind calms down and when that comes down life really does become really great and that's what i wish for all of you that you get to experience that greatness that you are as well. So namaste, and we hope to see you next week. Again, if you have any questions, send them in, and we'd love to hear um, questions that you might have, and um, we will be happy to answer those. And you feel free to give me a call if you want to talk personally. I do personal consultations as well, and I look forward to working with you. That's it for now. Have a great week.